So I know that just like me, you've had times when you absolutely feel like throwing in the towel and giving up. And I just wanna share a few thoughts for how to keep going when you feel like quitting. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here. Thanks for checking out this video. And if we've never met before, I make videos online and I also help people with online video and with social media and stuff like that. And recently, my wife and I and a friend were just in LA working on a huge project. And during that week, I had an absolutely terrible day. It was one of those days where it seemed like every single thing that could go wrong was going wrong. So first of all, we were completely exhausted. We had already traveled from Las Vegas to LA. Uh, had done a ton of stuff in one day, so when you're tired, it's never great. Number two, we had a cancellation the night before, and normally, you know, cancel plans can sometimes be frustrating, especially when it's something important, but this was even worse because we had just driven like over 300 miles, and it was something that was, you know, important for us to have happen. And number three, for this project, we needed to upload videos online and we couldn't find fast enough internet. And there's people that were expecting these. And so the hotel wasn't fast enough, but we go to this coffee shop, there's the ability to pay money to get fast, fast internet. So I pay the money and uh, I'm online there and if one of the videos gets to 96% and then it just stops. And after restarting the computer, it, it just does not work anymore and we cannot get the videos online. Stressful. Meanwhile, my wife Sonia is trying to get some medications refilled and her nurse is just acting crazy. Uh, there's tons of hiccups and blocks with that, so it's adding stress. And then there's all this kind of drama happening with her family and so she's on the phone with that. Of course, right in the middle of everything else that's happening. We get to one of the interviews and shoots that we're supposed to do that day and my pants rip on the inner thigh. I drop an expensive lens out of the trunk of my car as we're setting up. And so all these little things are adding up, causing stress, causing frustration. For me, I'm like, I just wanna quit. Come on, can I just take a nap? Can we just, you know, just do a do-over, a reset button on this day? Have you ever felt that way? But in the middle of all this, it gets worse. I get a phone call and one of the clients that I work with on retainer lets me know that at the end of the month they're no longer going to be utilizing my services. And what that equates to for Sonia and I is actually a significant percentage of our monthly income. Seriously? And I don't want to be overly dramatic. I realize that we're all in different situations and, and I realize that what you're going through could be a lot more worse than you know these little things that added up here. But I think we can just all relate to just the overwhelm of disappointments, setbacks, discouragements, you know, bad news, uh, bad phone calls, you know, drama with relationships, all of these kind of things. And in this day, it all was just stacking one thing upon the, uh, the other. And I was like, I just wanna throw in the towel. I wanna quit. But I'm really thankful that I didn't quit. And there's a few things that I did that day and that I like to do, especially when I really want to give up. And I just wanna share a few thoughts that could be encouraging for you, whatever it is that you're going through. Number one, reach out to somebody for help. I've found that good people can help us get through bad times. And when you're feeling like giving up, your own thoughts usually aren't gonna help you get through the current situation. So I called a trusted friend and somebody I really looked to for advice and just let him know everything I was going through and that honestly, I was experiencing fear, discouragement, that I wanted to give up. And he just reminded me, just began to encourage me that I'm gonna get through this. And he just began to encourage me to keep going. Number two, keep moving. You know, when all this stuff was happening, I literally wanted to just lock myself in a room and like binge watch some Netflix and eat some popcorn and just forget that any of this stuff was happening. But it's so important that we keep going and just put one foot in front of the other when we feel like giving up. One of my favorite quotes from Winston Churchill says, success is the ability to go from one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. And as the day progressed, it was probably visible that I wasn't skipping around with glee and, and that there was a lot of weight and stress on me, but I just had to keep going. Whatever it is you're going through, keep going. Just put one foot in front of the other and try the best as you can. It, I wasn't perfect. I mean, I was, I was pretty bummed out. I mean, it was, it was visible, but if you could keep your enthusiasm up, keep your attitude up, you know, just stay encouraged in the midst of everything falling around you, it helps you get through it. Number three, 
rest. You know, when we got to that coffee shop and that video literally got to 96% and stopped working, first thing I wanted to do was literally take my laptop and throw it through the coffee shop window. Probably wouldn't have been the best idea, but it would have felt good. But after that video didn't upload, I was like, okay, I just need to chill out. I need to take a break. We've been constantly working with constant frustrations and I just need to take a step back and chill. Sometimes the very best thing you can do when you feel like giving up is just take some time to rest, to refresh, and to get away from the problem a little bit. The reality is this, that tired eyes rarely see a bright future. And so maybe you just need to get your strength up, you need to rest a little bit, so that even physiologically, you can get back into a place where you can keep moving. Number four, one of my personal favorites, is drink coffee and eat food. This kind of goes along with rest, and as I sat back to just hang out and chill with John, we uh, just ordered some food, we just took some time to talk, and rat out of all the busyness, was able to kind of catch up with him, and then later that night, after we did just press through everything, uh, we got to hang out with uh, Alex, who's a super cool uh, YouTuber friend, and uh, after we shot the interview, I was able to change my ripped pants, and we went out and ate a ridiculous amount of seafood at Holy Crab. The point is this, sometimes when you feel like giving up, you just gotta take a step back, rest, have some fun, hang out with some good people who are gonna encourage you and lift your spirits, and get yourself into a different environment so that your mind isn't constantly rehearsing all of the negative, bad stuff that is happening. And number five, when you feel like giving up, is just don't quit. One of my favorite Bible verses is in Romans 12 in the Message Bible, and it says this. It says, don't quit in hard times, pray all the harder. And I like to just remember that, that literally, what do you do when you feel like giving up is just don't give up. The reality is, is that day has come and gone and not all the problems are solved yet and not everything's right in my life and of course not everything's right in the world, but I'm gonna keep going. And I wanna encourage you to just keep going as well, to not give up, and to stay positive and encouraged on the journey. Uh, in the afternoon when I was stressed and overwhelmed and kinda grumpy, it didn't change anything, it just meant I was grumpy. But then at night as my attitude began to change, circumstances hadn't changed, but my attitude uh, did. And so if you're still watching this video, I just hope that you can stay encouraged no matter what it is you're going through. You might be going through something that's super heavy, that's way more intense than any of the stuff that I just talked about, but just don't quit and you're gonna get to your destination. Question of the day, what are your tips when you feel like giving up and things that you've seen uh, work? Uh, let me know in the comments below. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, Sean Thinks, I do videos like this, some vlogs and some other content as well. So subscribe and we can keep hanging out in the future. And then check out everything we were doing on this tour that I talked about. It was a tough day, but we eventually uh, got everything done. Big thanks to Alex, who actually was the final destination that night after two days of not being able to upload. Uh, he let us upload at his apartment in K-Town. And so check out everything we're doing with the tour. We posted some super uh, inspirational interviews. I'll link one up here with Lewis Howes. That's another one that'll just encourage you not just to keep going, but to really pursue your inner greatness. Uh, put some links in the description below. And you can check out the vlogs uh, from the tour as well. Hey, thanks so much for checking out this video. Appreciate you so much. Keep crushing it. Don't quit. And we'll talk soon. So we got Alex prepping with the mics, getting the equipment ready. Moments of genius. It's blank.